Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 44, Coloring Book Part 3, AS3. It's a follow up to Tutorial 43, which was Coloring Book Part 2, and that's what I have opened on my computer now. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at flashthingy at hotmail.com. I don't know if I did this in the last video or not, but on the frames label layer, frame one, I have it called menu. And that's not going to happen, so I'm going to delete that. You may not have done that. Again, that's one of those things I did in trying it out and testing it out. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the colors layer insert a layer, call it size, as in the size of the strokes, the coloring we're going to do. Select frame 2, insert keyframe, pick up your straight line tool, and I think the straight line tool is the fill, oh no it's a stroke, pick up black, and draw a line almost the same size as that that box, just a straight line. Click on it. Open the properties panel up and let's make this line five pixels. Get the crosshairs, right click, copy, paste in place and use your arrow keys and bring it down a little bit while it's still selected come over here and make the five pixels eight pixels come back here paste in place again use the arrow keys tab it down about an equal distance and while it's selected over here make this 12 so we have three brush sizes 5 pixels, 8 pixels, and 12 pixels. That's on frame 2. Make sure all the layers are locked. Make the stage 100%. Select that first line. Go up here, modify, convert it to a symbol. Make sure button is selected. Size, S-I-Z-E, 5, underscore B-T-N. Copy it, open the properties panel, paste in the instance name. Select the next line, modify, convert to a symbol, make it size S I Z E 8 underscore B T N. Copy that. Paste that in for the instance name. Select the last button. Modify. Convert it to a symbol. Size S-I-Z-E 12 underscore B-T-N. Copy it. OK. And paste that in as an instance name. Now we got to write code for these buttons. Select frame 2 of the actions layer, open the actions panel and right here highlight all that it's the red button from there up to there right click copy come down the bottom of them buttons just before this variable canvas couple enters there and paste it in where you see red here, put size, S-I-Z-E, 5, underscore BTN. Copy the size 5. Paste it here where it says red. Paste it here where it says red. And go up to page here for a minute. This line size. Copy that, 
come back down to where we were working. It's right here, button size 5. And paste that in. And say line size equals 5. Highlight that. Right click, copy. Couple enters. Paste it in. Change the 5 to a 8. Copy that size 8. Put it in here. Put it in here. And change this 5 to an 8. Copy this. Couple enters. Paste it again. And we'll change the 8 to a 12. Copy the 12. Paste it in there. Paste it in there. And paste it in here. And let's make sure that we have those different sizes for the house. Control, test movie, test. Hopefully no errors. No errors. I select the house. I have this blue. I select blue, large size. I'll go select red, small size. And I'll select black, me medium size. So that works good. We're still on frame two. So down at the bottom here, at the end of this size 12 button, Go up like this, all the way up to and including size 5 button. So it's from the size 5 button all the way down to and including the size 12. Copy that. Go into frame 3. That was at the end of these. So right here above this variable canvas, couple enters paste it in and what we got to do is because this section is the P section we got to change those variables the button stays as it is but over here add a P copy that P paste it in here paste it in here I'm going to do that on the other ones. Paste it here. Paste it there. And there. Oops. I don't want that space there. And down to the size 12. Paste it here. Here. And here. Go back to this one. If it isn't selected, select it again. It's from the bottom of size 12 to the top of size 5. Copy. Open the last frame 4 of the actions panel. Come down to the bottom where it says canvas. couple enters paste it in and right here size 5b copy the b paste it here here again again I think three more and that's it I usually miss some of these all right so test movie test no errors I know the house works let's try the plane pick up the red 
there's the skinny line there there's the middle line there there's the fat line there good let's make sure the boat works test to test pick up blue fat line red medium line black small line and that works go back to frame 2 let's make this to fit and now I want to put a border around this so we know where the drawing area is make sure all the layers are locked select the size layer insert a layer border B O A R D select frame 2 insert a keyframe and let's make that border red so pick up a red for my stroke click on the fill bucket and make that empty there it is right there and pick up your rectangle tool hold the shift down and make a square and let's double click on that for a minute open the properties panel and let's make that a stroke of four pixels and make sure this chain is locked and I know my stage is 550 by 400 so I want them the height and the width to be 400 and because I made it a square 400 and because this chain is locked when I hit enter both of them will change now I'm going to make this a bit smaller 50 percent and I'm going to move that till it fits right there on that as best as I can and that will give me when I test it out I look at my airplane and that's basically my area that I can work with it gets a bit tricky but that's you get the picture so here would be you could draw some clouds in and you could paint the airplane um, I was going to try to allow us to get back to the menu that's why I had the menu up here in this frame label but I don't know the code I cannot stop stop the original code so that's where I'm leaving it I suggest you can make another square and put white into it use it as an eraser you can make another line as thin as the lines on your pictures so that you could fix them up if you wanted to and you could also make one frame have no picture and the person could just draw in it now the last thing I want to do before I stop is each of these pictures for example the host so unlock the host layer and make sure all the other layers are locked just unlock the host layer select that frame and open the actions panel excuse me open the properties panel it says it's the shape if I get right on with my crosshairs and double click and open it up I should see the stroke size it's one if I made that say three enter now when I test my movie and open the host up you see that's a thicker line so you might want to do that with with your airplane and your boat I hope you learned something from these tutorials and I hope you use what you learn